All right, we're gonna do a counterbalance squat. Uh, so for our purposes, we're using a eight pound uh, counterbalance. Um, you might push it as far as, you know, 10, maybe even 15 pounds, depending on, uh, you know, how strong you are. The idea though is it can be, you know, medicine ball, uh, kettlebell, dumbbell, or, you know, maybe your favorite dog that you like working out with. Um, so the idea behind this is if you're really struggling with keeping a neutral upright position as you sink to the floor and you start tipping forward, there's a lot of reasons that could be happening, but um, the weight itself can act as a counterbalance so that you can force yourself to maintain an upright position, improving your performance. So what you're gonna do is, uh, you know, you're gonna get into a squat stance, you're gonna orient yourself uh, in terms of your uh, foot pressures. Now, I'm gonna think about getting nice and neutral, you know, strings coming up. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Exhale, I'm gonna brace and breathe, fill my canister, weight's coming out. Now I'm starting to sink to the floor as far as I can go, and then pushing through the floor, coming back to stop. So from the side, it looks like this, you know, orienting myself with my uh, foot pressures, getting nice and neutral, nice and tall, deep breath in, exhale, really start to pressurize your canister, weight's coming out, now you're going to sink to the floor, weight's towards the heel, and then push through the floor, come back to the start, 